Hey guys, Ooh, another video from the recliner. Um, so I still have this photo paper that I'm using. You can see it's glossy, it shines. When I kind of move it, I think you can see the shine. And I thought that I would see how it would work with a stencil and more distress inks. I want to stress that I've never seen anyone do this technique. And the distress oxide inks are supposed to um they they react very different on this kind of paper than what they do on any other kind of paper so this is a tech the only way to get this technique is to use a glossy photo paper and it was a very happy accident um that i discovered it so i am using this number set from paper smooches and stencils and so I originally put my glossy paper down and then I staked, sta or taped down a stencil with some washi tape. And now I have just picked a few of the numbers and I stamped this one in the vintage photo and the, and the zeros in the walnut stain. Now I'm gonna do a couple of the fours. You can see um, when I stamp over the stencil, it leaves kind of a design on it. So I'm just going to show you me stamping the four. And then I'm also going to stamp a number seven a few times. So I got the four. Where do we want it? I want to show you how it kind of looks when you stamp over the stencil. Right there. Let's see. Okay, maybe I don't want the four. Maybe I have enough. Actually, let me take this piece of tape up and do it right here. This is just some washi tape that I have holding this down on my board. Again, one-handed. <laughs> So everything's a little more difficult. This has washi tape actually sticks to this photo paper really good. Like more than I expected. Okay. So now I've got my four inked up. And you have to press it down really hard to make sure you get a get it around all of the stencil. And you can see where that kind of leaves a mark. Okay, so what I'm going to do off camera is I have a seven and I'm going to stamp a couple of those maybe in the green peeled paint and then I'll be back. Okay, so because I have the stencil on here, I can't put ink down on my mat, wet it, and then turn my page over on it. My stencil wouldn't stay in place. So I thought I would try the oxide ink on a blending tool. And that's what I've done with the yellow one here, uh, which is fossilized amber. Now I'm gonna do a little bit with um, cracked pistachio. I'm gonna try to show you me doing that with one hand. So it, it actually goes on like really easy. Oh, I did some splatter of the fossilized amber first. I was trying to see if I could do that, but it didn't work. It actually leaked underneath some of my gears. So some of my gears aren't going to show up like I thought. So, but you can see it going on. And it's really creamy. So I'm going to keep doing this. I think I'm going to use a little bit more of the cracked pistachio and then I may use some peeled paint and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. Okay, I already took the tape off and I took my stencil off and I'm laughing at my daughter in the background. So all I did, I did go around the edges with some vintage photo and that's the only thing I did off camera. Now what I'm going to do is all the numbers that we stamped are behind the gears. So now I'm going to do the same process, re-stamp the numbers in some other colors, and um, put
put them in front of the gears and then I'm gonna do one more step after that but I'll do the stamping of the numbers first and then I'll be back okay so I have stamped other numbers I even brought in the eight and the six because they're skinny and I just overlap and stamp trying to be conscious of putting lighter colors down first and the darker colors over it that kind of thing I also have dried in between layers with my heat tool so now the only last thing that I think I want to do is the same technique that I did yesterday and that is put a blob of a color down um, spray it with a water bottle and then dip my uh, turn my paper over and dip it in and dry in between each layer um, so I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I'm really liking, so I put down um, the fired brick. And I really like how it really kind of gravitated to the white gears. The white and the gears. And I have dried this. And now I'm going to do... I might do a vintage photo or a yellow the either vintage photo or ice spruce. I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, I'm I'm getting excited. So I plopped it down in some spice marmalade and um ice spruce. And now we're going to wipe it off. Again, this is um, not a technique I've ever seen done. I just had a lot of photo paper laying around and wanted to see what I could do with it. And this is what I came up with. Kind of have a glimpse of what it's going to look like right up here where it wiped off some. But I'll be right back. I'm going to wipe it off with a dry rag. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty. That is. Oh, guys, I just don't even know what. I am so in love with this technique. And you can see how shiny and smooth. And all I did was wipe it off with a dry rag. Oh, it's so pretty. And then, I mean, there's so much you could do with this. I think I might do it as a postcard. Because you can also stamp over the top of this with like black ink. Well, you can do any kind of ink. So you could stamp. Um, and I actually have a stencil that is like cursive words. I might lay my stencil down over here and then put the black ink over the stencil where it looks like it's got words written across it. You could cut it and use it for a background. Shoot, you could just frame that. You could do anything. It is so so pretty look at that how shiny it is oh my gosh I'm in love again all I used was some photo glossy paper I'll show you um, I got this it came as like a free thing and something I ordered but it's just regular photo shiny paper um, and the stress oxide inks waters and this time I use oh, I will say uh, right here where my washi tape was it left a film it's on all sides and right there it's real sticky and funky so you probably want to cut it down the best bet so just make it a little bit bigger than you need it or you you could keep it I guess but it is a little sticky all right guys um, because I'm you know, I had the surgery and stuff, and I am stuck in my recliner. I'm not really going to turn this into anything for video purposes because I don't really have everything I need to actually make a whole card or anything like that. So while I'm still stuck in here and not able to get to my craft room and, you know, still not able to walk, I'm probably just going to be doing technique stuff, just ways to just use our products in different ways. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and. I hope you don't mind the video being, you know, kind of not the best quality, but until next time.
hugs and loves from my crafting recliner to your craft room. Bye.